Hello and welcome to another episode of It Is Mandatory How I Did It series. Now, if you are fitness enthusiasts, follow a healthy lifestyle, and you also follow some YouTubers, Instagrammers on social media, this next guest is no stranger to you. But what you will find interesting is his journey of what led him into the lifestyle that he lives now and how he inspires so many people with his lifestyle now. To it is mandatory how I did it. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks for having me. Great. So, <laughs> um, if you're in the fitness world, many people would know you, but many also don't. So, for those who don't know, tell us a little bit about yeah. who Shiv is. All right. Um, Shiv Shivaranja Simani. I'm a fitness and nutrition coach. Mm -hmm. I'm a CrossFit um, trainer, mm -hmm. level one trainer. Mm -hmm. I'm a father. Um, yeah, basically a fitness enthusiast. Let me just put it at that, awesome. cap it at that. Awesome, fitness yeah. enthusiast. So take me back, Has it? Have, have you always been a fitness enthusiast? Back, back, back to your childhood. What kind of child were you? Yes, um, I've always been into working out, into fitness, into anything outdoors basically, whether it's camping, whether it's um, swimming in whatever river in um, shags <laughs> or playing football mm -hmm. morning to evening mm -hmm. basketball mm -hmm. running mm -hmm. um, I actually wanted to be a footballer as oh, a really? kid that was my dream I wanted okay. to be a footballer who, who was your inspiration at that time um, I think there was Andre there uh -huh. was Ronaldo uh -huh. the other Ronaldo mm -hmm. then this other Ronaldo came in but yeah okay. it was, I, I wanted to be a footballer and that was, that's what I wanted to do in my life, but okay. it didn't work out that way. Okay. So yeah, you know, life, blah, blah, blah. But I stuck to it. Mm -hmm. I stuck to the swim team. Mm -hmm. I stuck to the football team, mm -hmm. to the track team. This is in high school now? Yeah, okay. primary and high, high school, school. Okay. and uni. I stuck to swimming okay. and like church football team mm -hmm. also. Okay. Then I fell off a bit. Okay, so yeah. you were actually pretty active all through, like yeah. primary, high school? Yeah university yeah so, but you've said you you fell off yeah so I was, was there a point where <laughs> you were not 100 <laughs> um i think as a kid i was very into football but not really taking it out of the pitch just yes in the pitch and practice i was very serious about it mm -hmm. i think i was good mm -hmm. but i never took any steps outside like going to the gym mm -hmm. or my nutrition i never really i would say i didn't care i didn't really know much about it yeah. so i didn't yeah. really you know there was yeah there was no information yeah there was no information so yeah. i was like so okay ignorant. yeah <laughs> yeah then i think uni mm -hmm. like the third fourth year of uni mm -hmm. just things just fell apart you know now you just go straight into partying okay because uh, of all the freedom you have yes um so you're just partying and partying and mm. that was my lifestyle for like a year or two okay so um where yeah Okay, so in uni, you started off, you know, still keeping active. Yeah. And then there was a point where you totally fell off and took on another lifestyle. Yeah. So that lifestyle was partying, yeah. drinking yeah. every weekend? Yeah. Okay. Like four times a week. Wow. Yeah, okay. four out of seven days a week, I was definitely drinking. So there was absolutely no room for fitness in that lifestyle? <laughs> Not really, because okay. I was hungover most mornings. <laughs> okay. I was hungover most mornings, uh -huh. so there's yeah, there's really no room. I would try maybe like once a month or twice a month, but it was just mm. taking a ball. And yes, that's it. yeah. yes, and it's just one off, like a yeah. one off. Yeah. Okay, so you did that. You partied. You did that lifestyle for like one and a half years, yeah, say, or two. So, what was the tipping point? What made you then become the chef that we know today? Um. <laughs> How do I put this? I had a number of experiences mm -hmm. um, which kind of brought reality, mm -hmm. brought me back to reality about the path I was taking. Mm -hmm. um, I was in three car accidents, wow. um, all drunk driving. I was the one driving. Wow. Um, in a span of a year? In the span of a year, yes. And you didn't even today? I was driving, today. yes. Okay. Three drunk driving accidents, mm -hmm. one fight outside. Um, right outside Q's mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or Electric Avenue, yes, yes. Um, where like my f broke my finger, mm. black eyes, mm. you know, almost lost an eye, almost. Mm. So mm -hmm. I think 
after the last incident, which was towards the end of the year, to mm -hmm. around November or something, mm -hmm. um, which year was this? Was this 2013 or 2014? Mm -hmm. I think 2013. Mm -hmm. I just realized, you know, it, this this is going south. Mm. This 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 is really going south. You're on a fast road to destruction. Yeah, mm. yeah. So I quit drinking. Mm -hmm. At the time, I was also smoking. Okay. So I tried to quit smoking for a long period in the year. Mm -hmm. um, I joined uh, Muay Thai fighting okay. to help me with that, okay. and it did. Okay. Took around. Wait, Muay Thai helps you stop smoking? Okay. No, I just needed something <laughs> really distract. difficult okay. to distract me. Okay. And the smoking and that training was not. They couldn't I, go together. They couldn't go together. Okay. It was for, it was death. Okay. You know, <laughs> okay. I couldn't breathe. Mm -hmm. I couldn't. Mm -hmm. So I finally stopped smoking after like uh, eight months of trying on and off. And how long had you I smoked for? Uh, I was smoking two years. Okay, and you were able to drop years. it in eight months. Yeah. So it's possible. It's, it's possible. possible. Okay. It's not easy. Yes. I wouldn't even lie. It's not easy. Yes. But I stopped it. Um, I quit drinking? drinking for the year. Okay. And um, yeah. So fast forward, I just threw myself into the gym. Mm and worked out i used to work out twice a day every day um five out of seven days then once on the sixth day okay yeah Wait, so was this that i just threw myself in a gym cold turkey like yeah from drinking smoking going up dropped that and dived into gym yeah. every single day six yeah. out of seven days a week yeah twice yeah a week yeah. But that's how bad you wanted to change your lifestyle. Yeah, I just wanted to change. And also I started to enjoy this whole gym lifestyle, mm -hmm. this uh, making progress. I started to see progress in my body. Mm -hmm. um, I was going bigger, I was going stronger. So I was like, oh, okay. What this did you is... look like before the party? I was, or... I was uh, tall and skinny. Because <laughs> I've seen the pictures. Like, yeah. It. <laughs> yeah, I was tall and skinny. Tall and skinny. Yeah. No yeah. muscle, no I've fitness. always been very slim my whole, okay. my whole life. So, okay, okay. Yeah. So, okay. So now... You got into the gym and you started working out six to six out of seven days a week. How did you be get into now? I want to get into this as a career field. Um, I think um, later on now I, we, I started posting videos with my then business partner. Mm -hmm. We just started posting videos on Instagram and all social media mm -hmm. just for fun, really. Mm -hmm. And very many people started taking interest mm -hmm. and wanted to know what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Can we help them out? Mm -hmm. And then um yeah that's more or less literally how it started mm -hmm. so we're like okay we can actually make money out of this i was still i still had a nine to five mm -hmm. at the time mm -hmm. uh, my business partner was doing it full time okay so we just took the you know the plunge, jump, the plunge at the end of it and we're like look let's just do this it was tough we mm. didn't really have any money any backup nothing yes, yes. but we just decided to do it Take the and risk yeah wow no Wait, looking so back. I, think, I think for me you're one of the fitness um person i don't even call your personality online that seems to have actually been able to monetize mm. being uh, um out there being on instagram is that yeah. is that a viable i think it is option? Yeah? yes i think it is mm -hmm. um but you can't just rely on one outlet you know mm -hmm. you have to be good at instagram try youtube try facebook mm -hmm. and also just uh, diversify what kind of content you're putting up and decide mm -hmm. what it is you want to sell uh so to say mm -hmm. so i sell a, a lifestyle basically mm -hmm. i'm not just selling your fitness i'm selling you everything around it nutrition mm -hmm. family mm -hmm. how it um how you can put your family into your fitness mm -hmm. and work out with your kids or with your spouse mm -hmm or alone how you can eat when you're out with your friends mm -hmm. and so i make it wholesome this the whole lifestyle basically it's mm -hmm. not just only gym 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 yeah it's everything around the gym okay yeah so now tell me how you went from lifting because i know you used to lift yeah and now you're in crossfit <laughs> what is crossfit for those who don't even know um crossfit is the sport of fitness okay. um crossfit is constantly varied um, natural movements mm -hmm. performed at high intensity if okay. I'm to define it further. Okay. Um, that means natural movements such as um, uh, squatting, it's like you're sitting down, mm -hmm. deadlifts, you're picking something up, mm -hmm. um, a clean, you're picking something up onto your shoulder. Okay. You know, so they work around very natural movements, mm -hmm. so there's no use of isolation machines, mm -hmm. um, you know, like uh, 
isolation machines like a leg extension or a leg press or something. So they work around natural movements mm -hmm. to get you moving as efficiently as possible mm -hmm. around all that. Okay. Um, so, okay. Yeah, um, I don't know if I should continue how I got there. Yes, is I, did, I did a bodybuilding competition in 2017, mm -hmm. at the end of 2017. Mm -hmm. And I think I prepared so well, so much and so hard for this mm -hmm. that it got to a point where um, mm -hmm. it got to a point where I stepped on stage and I was on stage for literally two minutes yes. and off stage and I got sixth place and I was like, I prepared a year for this right. and this is all that happened. I get, uh -huh. So I kind of lost the passion for it. I was just mm. like, I, I, what's, what's the use? Mm -hmm. So I tried out CrossFit a bit, mm -hmm. you know, joined Fast Power Guys, mm -hmm. coached me mm -hmm. and I liked it because there's more aspects to it than just being on a platform for, you know, 10 minutes. Yeah. It's, you know, it's done. there's all this, it's who's fitter. Mm -hmm across the board mm, it's so very aesthetic it's yes. very visual uh mm -hmm. bodybuilding yeah mm -hmm. and this is all about fitness crossfit okay. it's you know how good are you at all these things mm. not just how do you look okay so it's a new challenge mm. it, i felt like you know mm. i was in class one all together so <laughs> okay. that's very interesting for me. wow so yeah. so now so now you do you do your own fitness as crossfit but do you, you also train people in yes. crossfit yes I, take me through I, I think there's this perception that crossfit is just you know mostly for men is this true no way. Okay. So women <laughs> it's get for into everyone. It. Yes. Okay. Yes. And you start like if I, I come in knowing nothing, yeah. there's a level for me. Yeah, and that's what cross that's the beauty of CrossFit. Mm -hmm. It's um it's for everyone. It's okay. it's scaled to fit everyone at every level. Okay. Whether you're coming in as an eight year old mm -hmm. or you're coming in as a twenty five year old mm -hmm. or a sixty year old. Mm -hmm each movement can be scaled down or up mm. depending on your fitness level and capabilities. So I don't need to be afraid of CrossFit. So no. Sometimes I watch the videos and I'm like, wait, wait. No. <laughs> so, yeah, no. So what's the future for you, for Shiv, and your fitness and your health? What are your goals for the future? That's a heavy question. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's a heavy question for the channel. <laughs> oh, it's okay, share what you can. Okay, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But um, I think I want to train the future de generation. Mm -hmm. um, that's the younger generation, mm -hmm. uh, 18 and below, mm -hmm. um, in, into CrossFit. Mm -hmm. I want to show them how CrossFit is beneficial to their lives, just to their overall fitness and health, mm -hmm. and grow them mm -hmm. from that early stage. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm really into CrossFit kids, wow. and I think that's something I want to do. Mm -hmm. Seeing that when I go to the gym with my daughter and mm -hmm. how much she enjoys doing these movements mm -hmm. and how easily it is for so them hard. to pick yeah. things up. Yeah, it's easier. Um, yeah. So yes, I think that's for me, yeah, that's not like I'm saying our generation and generation above is a lost cause. <laughs> yes. We are not, yes. and which is good, mm. which is, yeah, we're not because a lot more people are getting into fitness and into CrossFit. Mm -hmm. It's just I feel like the younger generation has could have a better chance of taking it out there even bigger mm. and making it bigger in Kenya mm. um, if you start them early. Awesome. And I think yeah. for me, the thing that I'm seeing is if, if, if these children have what some of us didn't have, it's a way of escape. Like for you, you know, if you're in CrossFit as a teen and growing yeah. to campus, some of these things that you find yourself, you know, idling, drinking, you know, yeah. like doing all these crazy things, it actually takes you away from it that really does. and gives you a focus into mm -hmm. something that's actually positive and benefits your life. So that's amazing. Yeah. And I look forward to seeing everything that you do. Of course, we'll keep keeping up with Shiv on yeah. Instagram. Yes, please. Thank <laughs> you so, so much for sharing your I'm story. Sorry. I feel like I know a little more than I didn't about you and your journey. And um, thank you for coming and sharing it. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, great. Um, we are going to get into part two. We're not done yet. We want to get into the gym with Shiv and see exactly what he does. What is this CrossFit? Lord, help me. I'm going to try this CrossFit. So stay tuned. We are 
are in part two of It Is Mandatory, How I Did It. And like we promised, we're with Shiv at Alpha Fit Gym. Welcome, Shiv. How you doing? You. Welcome to you. Oh. Uh, well, welcome to your channel, but I'm welcoming you to the gym. <laughs> Thank you. And I feel yeah. appropriately welcome. So yeah. what are we going to do today? So we are going to do a CrossFit workout. Mm -hmm. um, heavy on the legs mm -hmm. and the lungs. Okay. Um, so we'll have a bit of the assault bike, we'll have some heavy front squats mm -hmm. and some explosive box jumps. Okay. We'll do it for a 15 minute arm wrap, okay. that's as many rounds as possible and you know we just go hard. Okay. Bit of strategy, a bit of rest here and there, mm -hmm. but we keep moving. Okay Shiv, you'll go yeah. easy on me right? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay awesome, yeah. I look forward to it, so let's get into it. Yeah. doing an outro because as far as I'm concerned I don't even have energy to talk Shiv thank you so much for that it was painful yeah but it stretched us it stretched me and I feel like I have an idea of what an average CrossFit session is like yeah because that was a CrossFit yeah session, right? um, yeah so as I said um, I think in part one mm -hmm. it's all about just um, high intensity workouts mm -hmm. that are constantly varied. So you come in the next day with do something totally different. Okay. But it's all about getting different kinds of stimulus in mm -hmm. terms of intensity. And I um, playing around with that. Yeah. I'm very thankful because you have taught me how to do a proper front squat. I hope I didn't let you down. No, you but at least not. I have the technique, and I'm gonna keep practicing on yeah. it. Thank you so much for having us at Alpha Fit. And guys, follow Shiv Simani yeah. on. Instagram. Yeah, I also have a Shiv Simani on YouTube. Okay. It's a struggle. It's a struggle. So just follow my Instagram. We're waiting for you on YouTube when you get back. Yeah, yeah, when I get back. Wow, awesome. Back. Thank, you, Thank you, Shiv. Until next time, keep it. It is mandatory. How I did it. Series. Bye.